Hello, uh, Pavan Kapoor. You are from uh, Sea of India, representative of uh, Sea of India, and uh, you are now ready to start in a few uh, days the virtual uh, festival. Yes. Uh, hi, everyone. Myself, Pavan Kapoor, the national delegate for Sea of India. And uh, as we all know, the culture is the worst hit because of COVID-19 after health and finance. But the culture connects communities. This is the logo and the theme of upcoming 20th Global Folk Dance Festival, in which we have invited the various nations to come together with us on an online platform. As we all know, culture, when we, when we live with a culture, we need to involve into it. So the live performance is going to be online. And from 20th, 21st and the 20th, 22nd September in the evening, we are going to telecast these festivals on the Facebook pages. And it's and now, a, it is yes. a little bit strange to do it like this. Yes, yes, of course, because like, as, as I told before, like living with a culture is one of the wonderful experience. When we, when we involve ourselves we dilute our own nationality into the different culture. It's a saying, uh, Mr. Mahal, like uh, when we leave our country, we leave our country behind and involve ourselves with the different cultures that we involve in the festivals outside India. But here, like as we all know, it's very difficult to host the festivals because of the regulations and the restrictions imposed by the government, which is necessary due to COVID, the online platform is one of the best medium to express, highlight, and bring understanding among nations through the culture. Who is participating in this uh, festival? You got a lot of... And, and uh, uh, the, the yes. delegations and the videos yes. and uh, and uh, it's it's a very it's a very good news for all the participants. The festival is supported by the UNESCO New Delhi office, and it's a it it gives the credibility to the festival and it motivates the cultural and it motivates the participants who are coming with us from more than 15 countries. Till now, till now we have received the participation from Chile. We received the participation from Latvia. We received the participation from Greece. We received the participation from Poland, Paraguay, Indonesia, Kyrgyzstan, Ukraine, Mexico, USA, Romania, Luxembourg, Sri Lanka, Slovakia, Uzbekistan. And we, we, we are still waiting for a few more. And I just hope we will cross the 25 international delegation participations in this 20th Global Folk Dance Festival. And you have uh, also the delegation from Israel. Yes, yes, we have the delegation from Israel. And the name of the group is the Veterans of Pravakta Jezreel. Yes, a good... Uh... And we, yes, and we have received the details. All the formalities are completed. And we are very thankful for the city of uh, Israel section for supporting us. And uh, Pavan, 
you say that uh, there are a lot of uh, participants and it's really amazing and that's what uh, the digital uh, media lets you to do because in real life you can't uh, host so many uh, groups so there is advantage yes. in this yes. uh, kind yes. of uh, ver uh, festival on, on the one hand it's like a real advantage because like the people and the people who are witnessing it they can they can view it from their home anytime it's very convenient for them to use this it and this like modernization we are everybody is going towards the, the facebook and the social networking pages and it's really wonderful to see that connectivity and these kind of festivals organized on the online platform is really a very fruitful thing that we are getting and it's a wonderful that we are preserving it we are saving it on the social platform any member any people who are using the social site can see it any time after the festival also and uh, it saves as, it as... saves a lot of money it saves a lot of money in traveling but the real is real and this is online I can say. <laughs> and uh, as I see, uh, it's behind you. It's a it starts in 20th of September. Yes, yes, yes. It's starting on 20th of September. 20th, we are going to have an inauguration session. Then the 20th, 21st, and the 22nd of September in the evening, we will post the updates on the Facebook pages and the SEO pages also. And uh, as we all know, SEOP is also celebrating its 50th year. So we would like to dedicate this festival to the SEOP celebration. It's a part of a, it's a, part of a uh, contribution from India wow. to the celebrations. And just like all, what, what we are expecting is like uh, when all the continents when all the people and the groups from the different continents, they are coming together, they will be showcasing their culture, their costumes, and the traditional music, which may be authentic or style. And this platform is going to be witness the colors of traditions. I think during this festival, the Facebook is going to be a rainbow of the culture. Wow. Wow, rainbow of the culture. Yes, yes. Because like, you know, these why these festivals and fairs are important? These, these festivals are important because they are transmitting the culture from one generation to another generation. And uh, we hope- When we cannot travel, when we cannot travel, that these platforms, these IT platform and the online festivals, is much needed in the time and we hope that we'll be able to make the mix to meet and to make a virtual that means uh, uh, what the COVID-19 uh, taught us uh, it's uh, very strange to say it, that we can do a lot of things by media by internet yes but yes, it, that's, that's it's true. not to replace Yes, yes. As we, as we all know, every country's culture is very unique. To know them, we need to visit them. And when we visit them, we learn a lot about them. But this online festival, at least I can say, the people, when they witness the festival, the folk dances, they will come to know about the real culture, which the participants and the and the groups who are preserving it, who are doing it from so long, and they are doing the justice to their groups, they are doing the justice to the culture, whatever they are doing is one of the best things to promote the culture. And, and Mr. Moel, I, I, I would like to explain that uh, uh, the SEOP aim to promote the culture with the various activities is one of the major work that brings the culture alive and peace among participants.
when when we are we are promoting it the culture it's not only promoting the culture it's boosting the tourism also it highlights the tourism which is also a backbone of the culture of any of the country tourism and culture are correlated to each other and when in india a large number of people who are visiting india is because of culture and the tourism together and we are very much honored and glad that in india we are having a large number of places to see the places to explore where the culture is still alive amazing amazing and 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 as you as you, as you can see at the back of my head this is a charu kesal foundation organizing the festival with sea of india in support with the unesco new delhi office and the support of unesco new delhi office is a big achievement for us as they are supporting the festivals which are really dedicated to culture and we are blessed and honored to uh, and very much thankful to unesco new delhi office for supporting us pavan kapoor what can i say it's very thank you very much it's you make me happy that all countries and india and the spain yes. they do, does it brazil yes. mexico yes. it's so nice that all uh, countries understand that we can win the covid-19 by culture yes yes I, I, and like i would like again to thank you to mr philip wilson the president of seom international with like i can say like through his guidance he is a really a motivator for us he told us like culture cannot be a dull during the covid we need to do some activities and promote the culture while sitting back at our own places no matter we cannot move but still we can do a lot thank you very much thank you very much thank you very much and we look forward for the wonderful festival going to be held on 20th 21st and 22nd of september and i once again thankful to all the sea of sections from the various countries who supported us and participating with us in the upcoming 20th global folk dance festival organized by charu kesal foundation sea of india and unesco in support with the unesco new delhi office thank you very much and see you very soon online <laughs>